Hey guys, welcome back to the Draki series here. This is Jason and welcome to a Minecraft Redstone tutorial for you guys today. Um, I'm in Minecraft 1.16.5 and I'm on the Java edition and I'm going to be showing you guys another toggle circuit within Minecraft right here. Uh, just before I get into it here, I just want to remind you I do lots of different Minecraft content. So if you do enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. The new toggle circuit right here is this one right here. It is a very, very simple toggle circuit. One I had not thought of before. And I got some inspiration from this from my previous video. I showed off this uh, dropper and hopper toggle circuit right here within my previous video. And a commenter by the name Suicide Llama Redstone mentioned that it is one of the best toggle circuits that you can make within the game. But uh, in the upcoming update 1.17, you can use uh, powdered snow to get a similar effect um, for, like, you know, toggle circuits in general. And I was thinking, could you do a similar effect within Minecraft 1.16? And you can indeed. This this uh, redstone toggle circuit will also work for 1.17 that comes on later. But basically, guys, this is using a dispenser, a comparator, um, a redstone torch, some redstone some fences and one water bucket. That is it. It is a very, very simple design. And all it really does is, as you can see, there is a button here. And if I press the button, you'll notice that the light actually turns on right here and the water gets placed above the, um, the dispenser right here. And if I actually press it again, you'll see that the light actually turns off and the whole system has turned off. So this is it activated, and then this is it deactivated. Now, obviously, you don't need to have the button right there. You could actually have it away from the machine, like so. You could have it like this with a button on it, and it would have the same effect. But uh, if you want it to be as compact as possible, and obviously you would have a button on it like this to actually activate the system. So now guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this thing. It is very, very simple. And then once I've actually shown you how to make it, I'm going to explain to you guys how it actually works. What you need to do is you need to place a dispenser so that it is facing upwards. You are then going to want to do a cross of fences right here. So you're going to want to do something like this. And then what you then need to do is hit out the middle right here. Obviously these fences are connecting, but the, the whole point is that you need so that there are four fence posts around the dispenser like so. You then need to have a, uh, you, need, you then need to get a water bucket which you then place inside of the dispenser right here. You then need to place the button and then you then place the comparator so that it is facing away from the dispenser like so. You then need to place two blocks with a redstone torch at the end like this. And then we can actually place our light right here. You then need to get your redstone dust and put it on top. Now, as you can see, that actually deactivates the system, but that, guys, is it. It is a really, really simple toggle circuit within Minecraft. And as you can see, with the button actually attached to the system, we can activate it once, and then we can deactivate it again. Now, as like with all the other toggle circuits I've shown within these videos, you can actually add whatever you like on the end of this. It doesn't need to be a lamp like I've got in this example. I'm only putting a lamp for simplicity's sake. You can do a lot, lot more with these. But basically now I'm gonna try and explain to you guys why this actually works and what it actually does is as you can see, if you activate the dispenser, the dispensers have this special property where if there is a bucket of water inside, it actually tries to uh, shoot out the water. And when you activate the dispenser again, it will suck up the water back into the bucket. Now, that is basically how the, uh, the tripping mechanism works. Now, the reason why the toggle system works is because of 
the water bucket itself. So um, when a water bucket is within a dispenser like this, you might notice that these water buckets are not actually stackable. Uh, but if you then activate the button right here and the water gets shot out, you then have a normal bucket inside of the dispenser, which is a stackable item. And because it's a stackable item, the comparator actually looks at it differently than if it was full. So if it is full, it has an output strength of two, as you can see. And because it's an output strength of two, it actually disables this redstone torch right here, which actually cuts off the power to the system. But if we actually activate the system right here and the water is no longer inside the dispenser, the output strength is now only one from the, uh, from the comparator right here. And as you can see, because this power can't reach this redstone torch, the system is now turned on and the lamp can actually turn on. It's a pretty nice system right here and this is a very similar design if you're using it in Minecraft 1.17. You could do a very similar system with powdered snow by using a bucket of powdered snow within Minecraft 1.17. But if you want to do it within Minecraft 1.16 as well, you can use a bucket of water like this. Now the only downside of this system is that you obviously can't use this within the nether because we, you can't place water down, I believe. So this might not be that good to use within the nether, but if you want another toggle circuit that you can use within Minecraft, then be sure to check out my other video, which I will have linked on this video as well. But yeah guys that is about it and hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial it's a very very useful system and it is very very easy to build and quite simple to create but if you guys did enjoy this video then be sure to give it a like because that would be very very much appreciated. I've also just recently relaunched my Twitter, so if you want to follow me on a social platform, it's at Draki Series on Twitter. Um, be sure to check it out within the description. And if you guys want to check out more content for Minecraft, so Minecraft tutorials, Minecraft survival, that kind of thing, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you are notified of any new videos that are coming out. But yeah, guys, this is a really nice toggle circuit and hopefully you guys will use it within your Minecraft world. But that is about it. Hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time.